they're bringing us new firewood. when you're boondocking for free. Here we go with dump truck load number two. That is a load of logs. Those are big ones, huh? I know, they are. Oh, oh it's stuck right in there. Okay, so here's what the log pile looks like in the light of day. And apparently this is just a taste of what they're about to be dumping here in the next couple of days. What did the guy say again, Mike? He said, just to let you know, we're doing a really big construction project up the road and we're going to be bringing a whole bunch of uh, logs like this down. And I said, okay, well, we're probably going to be here a couple more days. And then he said, uh, okay, he says, because you're going to get really crowded. And then later I asked him, I said, uh, how many more loads are you going to bring down? He says, I don't know. He says, a lot. And then he looks at, he thought about it a second. He looked at me and goes, a lot like that really like emphasizing the fact that this is going to be pretty uninhabitable soon which is super sad because i loved this location i was hoping this would be like a permanent spot on our rotation you know that we would right. come back here again and again and again and apparently that's just not going to be the well, case we'll see we'll see if this whole semi-level area gets filled up with logs then there won't be room for us to park here in this spot. We would have to see if there's another spot further up the road. He did say this though. As they were dumping, he said, oh, let's keep this, uh, let's keep this fire ring. So I heard him say mention like, you know. Really? Yeah, so there's, but at the same time, they just leave a log laying like that. I don't know what they're gonna do. Maybe like, they're gonna try to get them more to the edge or something? I imagine what's gonna there? happen is the dump truck's gonna Over come there? and dump all these things. And then the, uh, some, big backhoes oh, come through and here push them and into move a pile. everything where it needs to be. So maybe there still will be a parking area. I guess it remains to be seen. He did mention, he said, we're bringing this down here for free firewood for people. Which really? this doesn't actually make very good fire. It's all pine, so unless you like cleaning out your pipes all the time. So they're advertising it as free firewood to try to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> I see what's going on yeah. here. <laughs> We're bringing the kindling too. How about over here? Is this okay? Sure. Actually, this is all pine and it doesn't burn very there's, there's, No, there's some other good material that's coming down here too. Oh yeah. You said they're going to open this back up again. They're going to bring a big tool down here. And, and shove and it all. Shove it all to the back and get yeah. it out of the way. So. Okay, cool. Hey, you want a hand getting this out of the way here? Yeah, I got a two over whichever way. Which way you right. want Well, we're leaving our scenic overlook site and headed on to possibly greener pastures. I think it might be wetter pastures. I love coming out and seeing our bus across the parking lot. It just makes me happy. Oh, did you already dump too? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're fast. Oh, hold up your hands. Some of you will be very happy to know we've been using disposable gloves for our dumps now. That's right. That seemed like a really quick pit stop this time. It was pretty good. Most of the length of time was me standing in line waiting to pay. Yeah, I started I started filling water while you were doing that, actually. It's 
a good thing. It made it fast. Full water. No poo. Good to go. We're done here. All right. That's that. Let's go to uh, let's go to our new spot. All right. It'll be fun. Okay. So now for the watery part of our destination, but I want to preface this with a reminder that we live in the Sonoran Desert. Sonora is a state in Mexico, which is our neighbor to the south, which is very, very close to us. So we live in the desert and we're headed to this pond. It's not much more than a mud puddle in the desert, really. <laughs> but an interesting thing happens at this location, and that is with some migrating cranes. And I'll have more information on this for you in just a minute, but the cranes either stop at this pond as they're migrating to their location in the south, or maybe possibly this pond is their location in the south at their destination. I'm not sure. At any rate, I'll let you know and I guess now it's time to show you, and it's not lush or green or beautiful like you would normally associate being at a pond. Oh, he went the wrong way. This is what it looks like. Back there are the cranes. Okay, we turned around, so now we're going clockwise around the pond, which means this way our door will be opening towards the pond, which is where all the cool cranes are. Look at those guys. Oh man, it's probably hard to see. Oh, we scared them. They're just circling back around right back to where they got scared off from. They're like, no, we want our spot back. Pretty soon we'll be done driving and we'll stop scaring the poor things. Looks like just about now. Watch your bubbles and see if we can find a level spot. That's what I'm working on. I love having these radios to talk to each other when we're driving. It's the best idea ever. This is pretty good right here. Looks pretty good to me. What do you think, Mamacita? What does it smell like out there? What do you see? You want to go out there? Okay, whenever you're ready, you can go out. So here's what we're viewing. And here's what we're doing. <laughs> I love it here. That's a really good spot. There's waves of them more coming. It's like they've been off traveling somewhere throughout the day and they're coming home this evening. Right. Oh God, there's so many coming right now. Oh, this is so cool. There's hundreds and hundreds more coming. Holy moly. We are having a great time, you guys. This is so amazing. Literally thousands of these sandhill cranes have come back to land here this evening from wherever they were throughout the day. But I have some more information to tell you. This is their migration destination. This is their end point where they spend the winter as early as September through as late as May, but mostly from no November through February. So. We're definitely in that time range because it's January, what? Because it's January right now. This is just exceeded my expectations. I had no idea this many cranes would be arriving here this evening.
They look like pterodactyls when they get over Yeah. Us. They're just so many of them. Yeah, they just keep coming. I started scouting out to see if there was more. I didn't see any more, but like, doesn't mean there isn't. Yep, I see some more coming. Oh yeah, up there. <laughs> there they are. Oh my God. Oh my God, there's a lot more coming. Oh my God, there's a lot more coming. Are you kidding me? Should we walk down there and try to get closer? Why not? Let's just do it. But let's amble really, really slowly so we don't like raise the alarm. I want to bring the. I want to bring something to record this. What's behind us? Okay, see that funny little mountain in the center of the screen? That's called Dos Cabezas, which means two heads like they're peeking over the mountain at you. These fields out here are where the cranes go to sleep at night. Can you see them out there? There's like, there's a whole row of cranes out there, gray cranes out there. That's where they sleep at night, I guess. What's going on in the kitchen? Oh, let me just tell you. Breakfast pizza is the name of the game. Although, today we're having our breakfast pizza for dinner. It's, <laughs> it's not just that for versatile. Breakfast. It's not just for breakfast. Okay, here's how you make breakfast pizza. You start by browning your sausage in your skillet. This is not a vegetarian meal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you mix up some Bisquick. I just followed the recipe on the box, only I did it like once and a half times. So instead of two and a quarter cups, I made it three and a quarter and an eighth of a cup and a whole cup of milk. Anyway, you can figure out the recipe. I put a little bit of Bisquick on the countertop and dumped my dough out onto the Bisquick and then like, so, so, it doesn't stick. so flour would stick to the outside of the dough and then I patted it into this shape onto the onto the pizza pan. What else we gotta do? We gotta put it in the oven. Oh I can't wait. This is gonna be delicious. Okay, wait, I gotta see how long I'm supposed to be baking this for. I can't remember. Ten minutes. Echo, set a timer for ten minutes. Ten minutes. Starting now. Next, I just push all of my um, the sausage to one side of the pan and let the oil run down to another side, which is perfect in the bus because we're actually parked on a slant I right know. now. It's doing it for <laughs> us. But if you're doing this at home in your kitchen, you can lean the skillet like halfway off the burner 
and it tilts down like this pretty easily. So um, I'm just going to make a roux by adding about a quarter cup of flour to that. What's a roux? Oil. It's a flour and oil mixture. Oh. And then... You're going to roux the day. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to add my milk. I have about a cup and a half of milk here. You want to just keep stirring this as it's getting mixed in. Okay. I guess you're going to ruin the dinner. Yeah, I hope I don't ruin the dinner. You will not. And then we just want to cook this until it gets thick because we're just making a sausage gravy. The sausage gravy is going to be the sauce for the biscuit dough pizza. This is like a variation of shit on the shingle. Only better. Only better. Because <laughs> it wasn't made by some ar like disgruntled army cook. Right? <laughs> this is much better. This isn't a real recipe like that we read somewhere. This is something that my friend Christy made up when it was my baby shower when I was pregnant with Dana. So that was... 16, 17 years ago. This is what she brought to my baby shower nice. when I was all big and fat and pregnant. And it was the bomb. I've never forgotten it. And so I make it every year. Cool. Usually I make it either on Christmas morning or on New Year's morning, but... It's comfort pregnancy food, obviously. <laughs> it is, <laughs> clearly. Are you trying to tell me something? Are we gonna have a reveal here? Nope. <laughs> we're going to have a fat belly from dinner is what that's we're going to have. That's the only, only fat belly we're going to be experiencing mm -hmm. in the next nine months. Exactly. All right. Oh, man. Are you done already? Out with the biscuit dough pizza crust. Oh, ready my. for its toppings. God. There. Next step, putting the... Sauce the on the pizza. Seems like... Very sausage heavy gravy. Don't be stupid, it's perfect. I should have taken some of the sausage out so it would just be some more like saucy kind of sauce. You're crazy. This is a meat lover's version. Sure is. <laughs> All you have to do is swipe out your pan with a paper towel and it's ready to cook your uh, scrambled eggs, which will be the topping for our pizza. Oops, we don't have a fire on. wasn't quite hot enough. America. Heavy on the Peppa. All right, I only scrambled three eggs, which isn't a lot, but I think it's gonna be enough. You just put scrambled eggs as a topping on your pizza. Kinda like pepperoni? Kinda like that. Only yellow. Oh my gosh, this looks so delicious. It really does look great. Good enough. Now for the cheese, I just go with a little bit of whatever I have in the refrigerator, which means some mozzarella. Don't get too heavy on me. I don't want cheesy taste. Oh, you don't want too much? I want cheese, but not like crazy. Okay, yeah. No, it's not going to be like crazy. And also some cheddar. Just do like more on one half. Don't get me wrong, I like cheese, but just not with like too much on eggs and stuff. It's weird to me. Oh, I like the flavor of cheese and eggs together. A great deal. I like it very much. I believe you. Do you have to wait for it to cool or are you going to bake it? Um, well, we just need to pop it in there to melt this cheese. Gotcha. Everything's already cooked. It just needs to be melted together. Pop it. It's not that hot. Oh. How long? Probably five minutes. Echo, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. All right, I think we're ready. Oh, oh my dear. God, it looks so good. Look, look at how cheesy my side is. Gross. You just wish you had that kind of cheese on your side. Maybe I got, I got all the cheddar you'll ever need. You're cheesy enough on your own, huh? <laughs> Okay, I think we're ready to slice. Oh, 
Look at this, baby. Oh, my God. Oh, you want a second slice on there with we'll just this? start with that beast first. Okay. How are we ever going to eat all this? Oh, my God. <laughs> Did I turn the oven off? Yes. Oh, good. How is it? Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. It is good. It's so satisfying, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Really easy to make, too. Oh, it's surprisingly easy to make. Mm -hmm. It's just biscuits and gravy with extra toppings, mm -hmm. basically. Like, I'm going to be full after this one slice, for reals. Is that really all you're going to eat? Yeah. I'm very, the, dude, that was, that was like this thick and this big. It was, that's a lot of food. Disgusting free. <laughs> you just left a big steamy pile on that thing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're recording this. <laughs> Is that fake? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I, I, I just, got you. I just peed all over. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I got you. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Have a poopy morning. I'm just like, I get up from peanut like down, I'm like, oh god. <laughs> It's so funny that you didn't see it first, then you just sat down and started peeing first. Yeah, right. I just kind of caught it out of the corner of my eye. Oh my god. When I was getting up, I'm like, Oh my gosh! <laughs> that was so funny. I took that and hid that away so long ago while we were still living in the house. Really? I tucked For that this little, moment? Yes! I tucked that fake poop away just to prank you. <laughs> well, you pulled that off perfectly. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> I got you. You did get me. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have to go clean real poop up right now, though. To get a big old pile like that, <laughs> so gross. Can you imagine? <laughs> it would be awful to clean up. <laughs> I'm at it again. I made morning glory muffins this time, which are the best muffins I've ever had in my life. They have green apples, grated carrots, golden raisins, coconut, nuts. They're delicious. And look at my recipe card. This is a recipe my best friend from childhood, Carly, gave me over 25 years ago. Look at how like stained and old and discolored the recipe is. But I love it because it's in Carly's handwriting. Carly, if you're watching this, I still love this recipe so much. It's the best ever. Mail time again! Yeah, I love mail time! And guys, when you guys send us packages, man, this is so cool to us, I can't believe it. Oh, you're cutting toward yourself, boy, Girl Scout. <laughs> okay. Oh. We're in! Newspaper. Oh, look! Something 
Oh, Mama Kitty. Oh, that's how cute. Thank you, guys. That's, that's awesome. so sweet. She totally, she goes crazy for kitty treats, you guys. She knows totally. she, gets, she gets a kitty treat when she comes in her kitty door after she's been outside. Spoiled. She right. is spoiled. What is this? <gasps> oh, it's a kitty toy. It's a kitty toy. And the oh little thing goes Oh, my God. Around. Hours of fun. I can't even imagine Look at what's going to happen there. Okay, what else have we got in here? Oh, this one's for me. Chocolate Charlie candy. So it's got little marshmallows inside. Yeah, look at that. Doesn't that look delish? Too bad you can't have hey, any. Hey, whoa, buddy. I'll make you diabetic. I better eat this I'm myself. I'm the one who's into chocolate and marshmallows. Okay, you guys, I make s'mores in the bus all the time, only instead of Hershey's chocolate, I use Ghirardelli's dark chocolate chips on the graham crackers and then a roasted marshmallow on top of that. Hey you guys, you want to send so, me a gift? You're sending her chocolate. Mm -hmm, you guys have to mm -hmm, send me whiskey mm -hmm. now. What? This is the bomb. Mm -mm -mm. He doesn't need whiskey. I need more candy. <laughs> what does it say? Love my fur baby. The, magnet. Oh, oh, for our little magnet collection. That's right. That's cute. Thank you. I think that's everything. Check and see if that's everything. All right. Nope. There's more? Yeah, this one's mine. You got everything already. Mama Kitty got spoiled rotten today. Oh, they sent us a picture. That's so nice. Oh, this is so cool because, I mean, you guys get to see us on the video all the time. It's awesome for us to actually see who the gift is coming from. That was again? so considerate. Thank you very much. Tom, Tom and, and Julia. 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 I knew I thought it was Julie or Julia. There we go. Look at that. And so together they built a house they loved. Oh, oh, look at that. That's how cute. You know what I really like about it? How slender it is, like that it will actually fit. We'll be able to find a place to hang this yep. up in our small little upper wall. You guys will see this. We're going to hang it up. That is super cute. Thank you. Man, that's super neat. Really nice. Chocolate Charlie is our sweet treat that we enjoy at Christmas type. Hope you enjoy it too. I will. We didn't want to leave Mama Sita out. She is so cute. We have four of them and they are spoiled too. Shit, too. She knows ours is spoiled. <laughs> right. We sent the picture so you could put a face with the name, but if all else fails, you could put it on the refrigerator and it will keep the mice out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is really Tom and cool. Julie, thank you guys. Yeah, That's awesome. Thank you very much. Wow, housewarming presents are so neat. And you know what? This is awesome because we need we more needed stuff so to start our fires with right so now. So much. <laughs> Look, there's a bunch of it too. I'm just as excited about the newspaper. You know I'm easy to please. <laughs> There's another one. Awesome. Nice. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate this. Oh, yeah. I think she... Oh, she got distracted. <laughs> I think she likes it. You know you want that, don't you? Mail time again. Parting all the tea party behind okay, us is, out here. This was down the, fell down behind the seats when we brought a, it home. This is a PS on our last mail time because it fell down the crack in the car and we just now rediscovered it. So sorry, best best copy box. If you were wondering why we didn't open the package, it's because we lost it. But we already know what it is because it said coffee right on the return label. So we're pretty excited about this one. Carrie and Mike, please enjoy a my newest blend. African South American blend. Oh, yeah, that's it. Happy holidays, Scott C. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty excited about this. You must be really paying attention to uh, our channel because you know we're coffee lovers. Oh my gosh. They smell like chocolatey delicious. Oh, delicious. It's like right? a, it's kind of a light blend. Oh, it looks good. We'll have that for mm, tomorrow. Mm, it smells morning. amazing. Delicious. Thank you very much. And we're sorry we lost your package until Thanks, now. <laughs> but at least we found it. <laughs> That's right. We do love coffee. <laughs> Gotta love it. If you guys can't think of something to send us, just send coffee. <laughs> or chocolate. Or coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now that is a good cup of coffee. Thanks, Scott. It's really good. 